Hey there, everybody. Wayne D here. Welcome to the website. It's WayneD.com. And as I promised before, we're going to do a little over the top from the inside, but we're going to go with the modern players now instead of the old timers. So you saw a bunch of really great players. And when I talk about over the top from the inside, what would over the top be? So that would that would be taking the grip and moving it forward toward the ball counts too, but this is Abraham answer. He's gonna go more than that. And as that happens, what keeps us from being over the top is the shaft. So you can see the shaft flatten back. This has become one of my favorite favorite swings on the tour. So one of the hallmarks of OTT FTI is at P3 the hands are going to be deeper than they are at P5. However, the shaft is normally going to be a bit flatter. All right, so I do these in alphabetical order. Sometimes it's just cool to look at these look at these swings. Daniel Berger Let's watch. There it is again. Now, takeaways, backswings are all getting to a little different spot, but the general move is going to be to move the grip out, flatten the shaft. So to me, the left arm here is responding to the pivot and the motion at the, with the hands and wrists is sidearm throwing where the right forearm is supinating the right upper arm is ad adducting down and forward and the right shoulder is externally rotating or pushing forward so you usually see that right elbow coming inward Now, is this powerful? Well, let's take a look at Cameron Champ, one of the most powerful players on the tour. There it is again. I just love this move. That's why I want to show everybody. Champ really does it beautifully. Let's watch that again. Regular speed here. Now you may not remember this guy, KJ Choi, but he's now on the senior tour. He just turned 50. So that's definitely over the top. With the hands, his shaft never really flatten quite as much so the club comes down a little more steeply on his left arm and he would cut the ball mostly but there it is again now one of the one of the great ball strikers on the tour was Joe Durant now he's on the senior tour now but he really led the ball striking stats a bunch of times. And there you see the same idea. Now here it's interesting. You really see that right shoulder pushing forward into external. And something Durant did was 
add flexion to his left wrist early in the downswing. And then as the club felt behind him, that left arm is going to roll down his chest so he could release that thing. And it's a hallmark of the over the top from the insiders is that they exit nicely to the left. So let's take a look. Here's a here's a guy you recognize. This is Jason Duffner. Not the greatest picture there. Let's find something a little better here. So again, forward movement. We got to have the hands moving toward the ball and the shaft lagging behind, trailing. So how about a guy who recently has been playing just awesome golf? Harris English. See it a little better. Here we go. So I teach sidearm throwing in the downswing as a feel. So one of the things I like people to do is to take the club up to the top, let go with their left hold it with the right and pretend like they're going to throw the club out that way. And the club always is going to bend back because it's going to lean back on that right index lag pressure point. That's a gorgeous swing, no surprise Harris English had a monster year last year. about a little phenol. So if you watch my videos, you know that, and how could you not like phenol swing as much as anybody's? Could you be any simpler than this? It's so short and compact. So that left arm stays into the chest so hard and then boom, there it goes. Here's a metric, Matthew Fitzpatrick. This is a really good example of it. Now here's a guy who actually extends his left wrist in transition, meaning that he's going <laughs> to so the golf. There's so many different things going on that these guys do. This is a guy who's going to cup his wrist as he starts down. But still, even though the shaft is, is gets kind of laid off, watch it. It's going to shallow. It's going to shallow so much that it looks like it's like sideways. And then he rolls it down, perfect. And look at that nice left exit, that left forearm, totally rotated left shoulder out of the way. Really nice. So kind of funky backswing, and then boom. So. So let's move over and, and look at Victor Hobland. So Victor will get the club face a little more shut, but watch the motion, there it is. Handle out, hands moving forward, shaft shallowing. 
So why is this so good? Well, the, it, it moves the right arm and the hands in front of the body. It leaves the shaft back, leaning, trailing. So the club is rarely, if ever, stuck when you watch these guys swing. And look at that exit. Just love that. Once again, that, there's that left forearm fully rotated. A great release through the ball there. So here's one of my favorite swings of all time. It's Anthony Kim. So this was so good. So you can see Kim had a little cup in his wrist, flattened it, hands go out toward the ball, shaft flattens. One of the best swings ever. So here's a swing I use all the time to to show people on my computer because I had a chance to to film this in person. And that's Russell Knox. So this was at Bay Hill about five or six years ago. The guy's been on tour for a long time. Great ball striker. Let's watch the move. Now this is real subtle here. So the grip isn't really going out as much as some of the guys that I just showed you, but if you watch it, it's right down the high line toward the ball with the shaft shallowing back. So the shaft is usually a little flat of the plane when it gets to between P5 and 6. And again, look at that. Watch the exit. It's a real bonus to be able to clear and exit left hard and still hit the ball straight. How about Brooks Kepka? Maybe not somebody you would think about as being over the top from the inside, but once again, So when I see the club head going totally sideways, I call that the helicopter. So you see the initial movement of the handle moving outward. So here's the handle. Initial movement this way. Club flattens and then... I uh, don't like that. Now, I'm pretty fond of Andrew Landry's swing, uh, mostly because he's so small. <laughs> so am I. So let's check this out. Definitely plays from a little more closed, a little strong grip. how open and left this goes. Wow. That's pretty cool. But there's the move again. So if anything, he's leaning into the shot. He wouldn't be backing up and dropping the hands down. He's moving that thing from here over here. Let's take another Really nice swing. Guy who plays good all the time. Mark Leishman. There it is again. So, 
trying to drop <coughs> excuse me trying to drop anything down behind into the slot that is not the way I teach the swing I like it to go out I like the shaft to lean back I like the right arm to try to get in front and I like everybody to stay out over the ball and bent over Leishman does not have as much of a he's a chaser on the way by so he eggs its way up in front of himself but still that backswing and transition is, is pretty amazing now here's a guy you probably remember as being amazing but somehow kind of lost his way but Hunter Mahan just had a gorgeous looking swing and again had that thing over the top slightly from the inside let's check out Hideki Matsuyama You can see as, as Hideki in transition, his left wrist is going to stay completely neutral right there. It's not going to start bowing until it travels a little bit. And then he's going to bend it down. So that's another swing that I filmed on my own, myself. Graham McDowell. Very nice. All right. This is getting a little long. Let's do a couple more. Grady. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gotta like that, huh? Move along, a little Patrick Reed. adds left wrist extension in the transition. Don't see it very often, but I just showed you two guys that do it. So a couple more, Lee Westwood, Simpson. A nice picture of Westwood here. Simpson action. A 
shaft doesn't really flatten very much, but obviously the grip is going right toward that golf ball. And then last but not least, take a look at Zach Johnson. So if you're thinking about dropping that club into the slot, dropping the hands down, my recommendation is don't do that.